Hi, welcome to Chorus House. Today we're going to be looking um, at eTube. Let's get it going. So, uh, connect and set off the uh, head unit. Push it so it flashes. We'll select that one. It's going to read it. This is still flashing away merrily, it was. Right, it's read it, so that's perfect. And we're just going to be looking through the gear, shift mode, um, and other stuff that we can do. So let's have a look. Just waiting for this to connect. There we go. So we've got a customized update firmware error check preset. We've already updated the firmware um, in the last video. Um, error check, we can have a look at that. That brings up all of your stuff. Um, okay, so we'll choose the battery and collect start. It reads it, checks it, and it says there's no errors. That's great. So I'm assuming if you're having some errors come up, you can or things aren't working properly, you can just check them. Um, for preset, we can create a settings file, load a settings file, or load settings from the bike. Excellent. Customize. Switch unit, multi-shift, or shift mode. So, um, let's have a look at shift, uh, switch unit. So we've got left and right shifter, obviously. Let's choose the left one. And it's going to tell us that switch A is the D-Fly channel 1, switch X is shift up, and switch Y is shift down. You can change any of those, I'm assuming. So we'll touch that, and there's a new menu. We can change it to the rear if you wanted, or change the D-Fly channel. Um, we're not going to change those because that's how I want them. Let's go back. The same on the right one. You can change anything you want. I'm going to leave them as they are. Uh, right, shift um, and multi shift. Multi shift. Okay. So we can have multi shift on or off, which basically means if we hold down our shift button, it shifts through the gears do, 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 rather than one click for one shift. Um, here so you can shift you can shift very slowly to very fast I want to keep it normal that's default and you can have two gears three gears at a time or no limit I normally choose no limit and that's what I had it set up on my bike before this app came out so I can now set my own but I had it at no limit so I'm used to that so I'm not going to touch it Okay, yes, we'll continue. So now we want to go on to shift mode. This is going to be the core car. So um, I'm running a 5034 front and an 1128 rear. You can select 5236, 5442, 5542, 5339, or 5238. You're going to have some big, big strengthy legs. <laughs> strengthy, it's not even a word if you choose any of those. Right, we can go from a range to 1123, 1125, 1128, which is what I'm running. 1225, 1228, 1428. Ouch. Um, I noticed there's no 1130 which I'm sure you can buy now. Um, an Altegra, I'm sure, or a 1230. I'm sure they've got 30s for Altegra now, but that's live, that's my cassette. So we're gonna press tick. It's gonna give us a little um, info here. So to use the settings file on your device to overwrite your bike settings, drag the file to the slot S1 or S2 which you wish to overwrite. And it's giving you a little demonstration there. So here's the files on computer, yeah, that you might have saved. You might have different settings for different 
um, races maybe, or you might have a hill setting where you want it to shift two gears at a time, things like that. Eh? You can set up different, different uh, whatever you want. So if you've got someone on your computer here, you just drag them into shift one or shift two, and we'll talk more about that in the moment. This icon shows the mode, so synchronized shift will have the rear derailleur first, semi-synchro will have the front derailleur first. As you can see, S1 is on synchro and S2 is on semi-synchro. This is just the, um, uh, the demo page, so what we're going to do is press the button and then we come up to the real page. So at the moment, we've got a 5236 1128. That isn't correct, because I don't have 52 teeth, do I? How am I going to How am I gonna get out of that? Right, what we need to do, or what I'm going to do, is go back, uh, go to multi-shift. Is that what we've just been on? I'm losing my way. Right, let's go back. Shift mode. 50, 34, 11, 28. Yes. Exit the page. And now, because I've changed it, it's now correct. So I'm running a 50, 34, 11, 28. Shift 1 is, sync, is auto, or auto shifting as I call it. It's synchronized. Shift 2 is semi-synchronized. Now, how you change between the two on the bike. This is what's programmed into the bike. You can see bike and computer. So on the bike we've got mode S1 is, is synchronized, mode S2 is semi-synchronized. So um, because I haven't stored any defaults, I'm not going to at the moment, I'm just going to run this. What we need to do, because that is what's saved, yes, we can now uh, go back what we're going to do, oops, sorry, in case you uh, didn't know how I did that, there's a little icon up here, just there. That brings up a menu. You've got a tutorial there, application settings, language version, and we want to disconnect the Bluetooth because I'm going through the shifting now. So it's disconnected. We'll put the iPad away. This is the right shifter. I'm going to shift and you can see it moving. This is full auto. Let me just focus in, hopefully. So as, so as I'm shifting, the front one is adjusting slightly. Yeah. You can hear it adjusting slightly now. What I'm going to do is come all the way up. Let's just shift the front back and forward. Yeah. So there's the front shifting. Now I'm going to put it into mode S1. And the way I do that, if I can do it, is... That's not focusing very well, is it? Two seconds. Okay, and we're back. Sorted out the focusing value. So the way we sort that out is to double click this button and it flashes twice and that tells us it's now in S1, mode S1 which is semi-synchro. So I'm going to use the right shifter, I'm going to hold it down and we'll watch what happens. So, one, two, three, four. Do you see the way? When we got to the right gear, the front shifter moved and the rear one compensated. So I'll just click down again, listen for the clicks. And we'll come back up. Mm. 
And that's pretty cool, eh? So as you're riding, they compensate, which is pretty cool. Now, I can't wait to try that out. What we're gonna do is put it into mode S2 now. So we double click again. One, two, three. Three flashes means mode S2. So now, the front one is in charge. So if we shift the front, the back one will react. There we go. So we shift down, it comes down two, we shift and it moves one. And that's pretty cool. Now, once we double click it again and it gives us a long flash, this is back to normal. So we can move the front and the rear independently of each other. Yeah, again, and they won't react. Obviously the front one is um, in trim mode, so it's going to move a little bit. So there, that is our bike set up for auto and uh, semi-synchro. Well, synchro and semi-synchro, not auto, but I tend to call it auto because you only really need to use the front right shifter yeah the left one is redundant really so you could probably use that for um, your Garmin you can control your Garmin with it that might be another video that I do when the bike is together and um, using the buttons on the top to control the Garmin pages so that's um, all for today on Cairo's house, like subscribe if you like those videos and leave some comments for me in the sections below and I'll see you again soon. Bye!